this will be my first YouTube video, but I found a way that you can loot lock legendary enemies at Dunwich Borers, and so I figured I would share it because I did not know about it until I happened to stumble upon it. Uh, there's these circuit breakers here. Once you get fairly deep into the mine itself, and when you flip the circuit breakers, it spawns a number of ghouls. Um, <coughs> in this case, I already did this one. It spawned two, one of which was most of the time a legendary. And here's one that I haven't flipped yet, which spawns four ghouls. And these ghouls are leveled to your level which I'm currently, I think, 134. And so it's a great spot that you can get, you know, all your really nice weapons and armor if you're patient and, and you know, put in the time to actually get that item and then you can lock it in to get the effect that you want. So how you do it is you need to make a manual save before you flip the switch and then it's nice because these switches flip on lights and these lights click 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 four clicks and it works perfectly to time it for a countdown on the third click right after the third click you want to make a quick save so one two three quick save I might have been a little too late there, but we'll see if one of these spawned as a legendary. Yep. Oh, look at that, a minigun. Perfect for this example. The Poisoner's minigun, I was actually hoping to get a minigun, so that works very nicely. So, now that I have that quick save, I should have, if I timed it right, which I think I got it good enough, it should lock in that minigun, but the prefix is not loaded on that minigun yet at that point because they were still in the process of loading it in. And that's one of the last parts of loading a legendary item, is adding the effect of it, or the prefix, the legendary prefix. So, <clears throat> when I load that quick save, if I timed it right, I should be able to get a different effect. And I've been doing this for a while now, experimenting, and I know for sure that explosive is in my loot pool right now. So, we'll see if I can get an explosive minigun, which is kind of what I was hoping for, either that or shotgun. So... Let's just hope I timed it right. Incendiary minigun. So, you can see I did time it right, which is good. Now I just need to continue to load this quick save until I get the explosive that I want. So, that's how you do it, and it's great at this location because you can farm multiple enemies within a very short period of time instead of having to travel all over the place to do it. Um, and it works just like loot locking when you enter an interior space, you know, similar to the National Guard training yard or the abandoned house in Bunker Hill. Um, except in that case, you're making your hard save outside, and then the quick save or the auto save is.
The autosave is the one interrupting the loading process. There we go, look at that. Explosive minigun. So, I got lucky there. Took three chances and I got it on the first try of doing it for this video, so... Good example. Uh, anyways, hopefully this helps people find a nice farming spot. I didn't know about it. Like I said, I stumbled upon it by chance by getting an autosave happening right before I flipped the switch. And I thought, and it didn't actually get at that time, but I thought, well, hmm, I wonder if I can do that. And then, uh, you know, further trying and everything, I found out, yes, indeed I can. So this is a great way also if your loot pool doesn't have that prefix that you want for, uh, you know, your armor or weapon, for you to burn through some of the ones that you don't want <clears throat> and get the loot pool to refresh and then you can uh, go on somewhere else or if you get it refreshed soon enough they still have some here you can go on and, and then loot lock what you do want so hopefully this helps um, like I said this is my first YouTube experience so hopefully it wasn't horrible for you guys anyways uh, feel free to leave comments I'll check it out get back to you if you have any questions or anything Thanks for watching.